So this is my video on the uh, shitty pan that I bought. Let me show you the back. It's, it's a diamond blue, blue diamond piece of garbage. Um, I've contacted the company and told them that their pan is crap and they want me to call a phone number. Uh, their, assist, their thing is you have to have proof of purchase, which of course I don't have. Nobody keeps the proof of purchase. And you got to send it back, and you got to give them $8.50, which means basically it would cost you more than it cost to buy the pan to send it back to them and get a new one. And I'm really angry with this bullshit. So just, I'm showing the pan with the eggs coming out of it and show that there is, this is the residual crap that I can't get out of the pan. This is their idea of a non-stick pan. I just took the stuff out. Um, and I'll come back with a, with another part where I show the, the, the pan after it's clean. But, you know, that's not a non-stick pan. This is grunge. It's all over the place. And uh, this pan is garbage. This is a cheap pan that I bought. I like this one better. Um, uh, it's, it's newer than the one here, but it's got a rubber handle because I can pick it up. This one I got to pick up with a with a towel. And uh, these are your standard sort of uh, non-stick uh, uh, pan, and uh, it's not sticking at all. I mean, I don't use this one as much as I use this one. This one needs to get thrown away. Um, but do not buy uh, a blue diamond pan. They're garbage. Their return policy is crap. Um, and uh, it's a useless piece of garbage. And um, I'm going to post this after I uh, have breakfast. And I'll go in and I'll take a, a shorter, another video showing the pan cleaned up as much as I can clean it up. And then I'll post it. Okay, this is continuing on this really crappy pan made by Blue Diamond. And this is remnants of using it to cook some eggs. And it's dried it on the stove top. So we're going to see how much we can get off of this just with hitting it with of water and there's not much coming off. Look at that. It's pretty much stuck. Let's see. I have to use the hold the phone. So with a reasonable amount of scrubbing, as you can see, we just put it up here. There's not much I can get off. Here, I'm scrubbing with this. I'm scrubbing with the scrubbing part of a thing. And look at that. It's just stuck. You really gotta, this is definitely non-stick. This is almost like dealing with a uncured iron skillet, which is what these things are supposed to replace. And you get the idea if I just sort of go along here. I'm really pushing down to get the remnants of the egg and then I sh I'm going to show you what's left which is what's burned in. So let's take a look here. You can see here this is all the crap that's left behind from using it. In other words, this is a now a stick pan instead of a non-stick pan. So I'm gonna go down in my, under my sink here, I'm gonna get something that should clean up almost any pan, which is Comet. And again, I'm gonna use this scrubbing part of a, of a sponge. Let's see, with a reasonable amount of elbow grease. It's even up in the side. What's, what's basically happening is things are sticking to it. And if you saw <coughs> the earlier part of this video, I 
was cooking eggs and you could see at the edge of the eggs how much oil and butter I used to avoid this sticking and it didn't even do any good. I had to actually, before I ate it, I had to actually use a, a paper towel to sop up all of that extra oil and butter. So I'm using Comet. And we're gonna see how much how much Comet did. And it's not very much. So every day I use this thing, the pan's getting worse. This is all this grunge and stuff that's attached <coughs> to the pan. And it's just a dead pan. So I talked to, well, I sent an email to Blue Diamond. <coughs> and uh, I'll put a link to their, their uh, return policy. Their return policy is bullshit. They want you to have a, re a receipt, like I said earlier, <coughs> of proof of purchase. Um, and if, unless you buy it on something like Amazon, if I, you buy it in a retail store like Target, you don't keep those receipts. I mean, maybe some people do, but I buy so many things um, uh, that I'd have to have a shoebox full of receipts. Uh, they also want you to pay to send it back, which probably would be about eight or nine dollars. And they want eight dollars and fifty cents uh, for a replacement one for the shipping, which is nonsense because this is a lousy, crappy pan. So in my opinion, this is garbage. The, the company is garbage. Their return policy is garbage. Their pan is garbage. And uh, it's one of those as seen on TV things, which everybody knows is pretty much something to avoid. And I, I should have avoided it, but uh, don't buy one of these and um, let the company know that they're crap. And uh, there we go.